This video will be covering the area of computer assisted audit techniques, widely known as CATS. When gathering evidence and performing audit procedures, the external auditor can often use computers and special techniques. This can improve efficiency and speeds up the audit process. The two main areas where this can help is with the controls work the auditor completes and the substantive testing stage of the audit process. When the auditor is assessing the control systems used by the client, they can use something called test data. When the auditor is performing substantive tests or procedures, they can use something called audit software. Test data is where the auditor will access the client's computer controls. They will perform audit tests on the system itself by entering dummy data into the system and monitoring how it progresses through the control cycle. This method of testing will allow the auditor to see if the control functions of the computer system perform properly. For example, they could enter a fictitious sales order in the sales ordering system and then monitor whether it is posted correctly and whether the controls over ensuring it is authorised before being accepted are effective. There are two ways the auditor can perform test data, live and dead data. Live data is where the auditor has access to test the computer systems during the operating hours for the client. The benefits of testing computer controls during working hours is that it allows the auditor to assess whether demand has an impact on the efficiency of the controls. It could detect that the system does not cope when there are multiple users, all posting onto and reviewing the data on the system. The drawbacks are that these dummy entries into the system may be forgotten and not reversed. There's nothing more embarrassing than the auditor being responsible for the misstatement detected in the following year's audit. Dead data is where the auditor can enter dummy data into a batch after working hours. This is easier to reverse as all entries are all together. Alternatively, the client may only permit the auditor to test the system by taking a copy to install on their own computer. This will remove the risk of leaving misstatements in the system altogether and very often the client feels most comfortable with this option. The drawback to this approach is the auditor will not have assessed whether the system can have problems when busy. However, this is still an effective way of testing the computer system controls. This is a cheap way of testing the computer controls of a client as it only requires the auditor and their skills. Without test data, the auditor is only testing the controls around the paperwork that is produced from the system plus any manual control systems the client may have. Therefore, this method ensures there is a thorough review of the entire control systems that relate to the financial statements and not just some of it. Our other method of CATS is audit software. This assists the auditor at the substantive testing stage where the auditor is performing audit procedures that help detect potential material misstatements. Audit software is a piece of software that is used by the auditor. There are many variations of this software around. Each of the larger audit firms have designed their own versions. They may also have bespoke audit software for clients with complex financial data. The smaller audit firms may purchase audit software from the larger firms. We just need an understanding of how generally audit software works. The auditor should be able to import all of the client's transactions and balances onto the audit software. Now they hold all of this data, the audit software is programmed to perform some audit procedures on it. Some of the procedures that can be performed are analytical procedures, selecting samples, checking calculations and exception reporting. The audit software would be programmed to calculate ratios. At a press of a button it can produce the results needed to compare to previous year's results, budgets and industry averages. The auditor can then investigate unusual results with the client to decide whether potential material misstatements may have occurred. The audit software can select samples of transactions to perform audit procedures. This is a systematic method of selecting the sample as it requires no influence from the auditor in choosing the sample to test. 
Audit software can also check calculations. It can be programmed to add up transactions to agree balances in the system and recalculate other transactions, for example VAT calculations. The software allows more of these calculations to be performed as it works faster than an audit team member with a calculator or an ad list. It also reduces the risk of human error on the audit. The software can also be programmed to produce exception reports. It can highlight unusual trends in the financial information that has been imported. It can also detect balances that look unusual. An example would be producing a list of balances on the receivables ledger that have credit balances, suggesting overpayments or possible missing invoices. These balances and transactions detected by the system can then be investigated by the auditor with the client for potential material misstatements. Audit software has many benefits, including it can save time on the audit due to automatic procedures being carried out by the software. It can then also save on labour costs for the audit assignment. And it also reduces the risk of human error due to the software automatically performing some of the audit procedures. Drawbacks include the expense. If a bespoke system is needed or if the audit firm has to purchase the software, this can be very expensive. They therefore need to ensure the benefits of using the software outweigh the price. Clients are often apprehensive allowing their system to be connected to the client system when importing the transactions. There is a risk of data corruption when carrying out this process. As the auditor is now holding all transactions and balances on the software, there is a risk that this data could be leaked and therefore confidentiality would be a concern. Strong security controls are required. To summarise, CATs are computer-assisted audit techniques. They assist with assessing control systems at the clients by performing test data. They also assist with performing substantive audit tests using audit software held by the audit firm. CATs ensure the transactions and systems are tested more thoroughly. They also potentially reduced costs and speed up the audit process. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.